So, Cardinal Casper, could you tell me if you do really believe that there is a future for ecumenism? Oh, yes, I believe it because it's a mandate of Jesus Christ himself. It's a mandate of the Second Federal Council and we have harvested so many good fruits why we should go ahead. There are always difficulties on the way. It's normal in human history and we go on with this and I think so many people that expect it also are waiting for good fruits and so we are not allowed and permitted to stop it. But um, Archbishop Rowan Williams called you in the middle of the night, didn't he, when you when it was that when it was announced, and you were abroad at the time. Yes, I uh, yeah, wondered what I am saying about it. I informed it a little bit about the background. And the most important thing for him was that I said, uh, so it's not a new policy. We go on with our ecumenical dialogue because the Constitution says that ecumenism. As some newspapers said. It's a new form of people who want to become Catholic. Of course, we cannot shut the door if somebody, by reasons of his country, won't become Catholic. I do not know how many is this would be. It's another question. But the dialogue, the ecumenical dialogue, is different from this. And we will go on. Oh, that is the next week. We will uh, start a new round of dialogue. Some Anglicans believe it's like poaching. Do you, do you think it's, been, it's like poaching from the Anglican Church? No, the initiative came from Anglican uh, uh, bishops and also priests and laity, and the, uh, the Pope uh, reacted only to their request. It's not an initiative for us, and so it has nothing to do with poaching. Okay. Archic 3 starts next week again, doesn't it? What will Archic 3 discuss? The, second, the third Anglican Roman Catholic International Commission. Uh, recommends this next week, doesn't it? Or, or this, the talks? Well, we, have, we have to decide about the concrete theme, so I cannot uh, <laughs> say to you probably it will be universal and local church. It's a problem which was mentioned also by the Archbishop of Kent. Probably. Yes. And women priests in the Catholic Church? The Archbishop mentioned that, didn't he? Yeah, yes, but we know the position of the Catholic Church. <laughs> they have nothing to add to this problem. <laughs> it's, uh, yes. it's clear. Thank you. How would you respond to his assertion that um, we agree on the fundamentals, on the basics, on everything that's in the creed? Maybe it's time to ask ourselves if these other things might be secondary. I mean, the dialogues haven't discussed at all who and can I'm sure with the Archbishop of Canterbury, I agree with all the fundamentals and dogmatic matters. That's no problem with him. There are also other people in the economic dialogue where not so much agreement with him which we have with him. And uh, well, since so, so other problems you mentioned, uh, I would say we have to distinguish between differences which are contradictory and uh, differences which are complementary. Complementary difference can exist in the church because faith is God is a mystery and there is no system to express what God is saying, but there can be complementary positions, but not contradictory. And so we have to, have to discuss whether there are still complement, uh, contradictory uh, problems or not. This is the uh, aim also of the symposium we will have in February next year. Archbishop Rowan also suggested that the Apostolic Constitution opens up perhaps some tough new questions about the papal primacy, the way it's being uh, used, the way it's understood at present within the Catholic Church. What, were your reaction, what was your reaction to his words on that? Uh, correctly, well, uh, he was not informed in time. Well, I would agree there was some lack of. It's not my guilt because I was not uh, the, uh, the person to de deal with it. But it's also the question of the bishops who uh, had the conversations uh, with the congregation of Dr. Morris. I said to them from the very beginning, now we have to go to the Archbishop and uh, uh, tell him uh, that you are here. And we can do it in a confidential way. And so far, it's not only our um, lack of courtesy, I think it's also a problem from those who dealt without seemingly, seemingly not informing enough the Archbishop what she should do. You, you said that the transparency in the process was very yeah. important yeah, in yes. the ecumenical dialogue. Yes. Uh, would you say that this has been uh, decidedly absent in, in this... Not decidedly thing. absent, but uh, well, I can only speak for myself. Okay. I insisted from the very beginning to be transparent and to inform. No, I cannot say. And why do you think this did not happen? Well, 
But the Catholic bishops' conference, for example, in England and Wales, that they were kept in the dark. There was a part of the Catholic. I mean, there was one of them. Otherwise, you cannot resolve. It's not possible. Well, it's it's a possible problem to remain seen in a confidential realm. This is understandable because the people who are engaged cannot expose themselves to public discussion. Did you share the Archbishop's reading of the Constitution? He seemed to say that it's here. There's no real breakthrough. Here is a more. It's not a breakthrough. It's what I told you was that in the decree on unitarianism and unitarianism makes a difference of personal or common conversion of people. This is possible. We have to. There are also Catholics who become Anglicans in the United States. Yeah. So this we have to respect it's a question of uh, religious freedom of the Archbishop is fully with it. And the other one is a ecumenical dialogue with the church as, as such and in this direction we will go on now. So but between these two ways which are possible should be transparency I think and thankfulness and so that's a question perhaps we have to learn it is still the answer beginning of such a thing. Will you accompany him with, when he meets yeah, the Pope? Huh? Will you accompany him no, when he meets the, the Pope? As the head of a church speaks only, only alone out of your four A's with the Pope, but then afterwards I will meet him and discuss the whole uh, science.